There are a ton of operators in Rainbow Six Siege, so how do you know which one you should pick and play? Well, Ubisoft just came out with a new survey that uses your playstyle to calculate, essentially, which operators you should use. I'll link it in the description. I'm going to do the survey, and then I'll let you know who I get. We're going to play those guys today, see if they were right, and see how it goes. Apparently, I should be playing Smoke and Fuse according to my playstyle. Well, Smoke is, like, literally perfect. Like, I love Smoke. I think he's the best fighter. I think he is actually perfect for my playstyle. But the Fuse... Uh, we'll see how that goes. Now I am one game from champion here. Diamond one, nine RP away. So if I win this next game using smoke and fuse, technically those will be the Ubisoft picks to push me into champion, which is huge. We're playing Outback. This is honestly a really good map for smoke. There's a lot of close range things. Uh, only a few entrances so you can smoke off a lot. You can really block off a lot with the smokes. I'm gonna ban Dokabi, one of the most just like annoying operators. The Jackal ban is fine. He's like pretty annoying too. I don't think Jackal's no, like anywhere near as strong as Dokabi because Dokabi is just so, so effective. But we'll get Dokabi off the board. Thatcher is also really good on this map. Getting those outer breaches is very important because there's not a lot of entrances into the map. So Thatcher's actually a big ban here too. And they got Jackal. So honestly, hopefully our team picks Thatcher on the attack because I'll, be I'll be playing Fuse. I don't know what I'm going to Fuse on this map. Um, but if they don't bring Wall Denial, I could Fuse the outside wall and then Hard Breach hit. Or if it's muted, I could also do that and get the mute jammer off with the fuse charge. There's a way. There's a way around it. Uh, you might have to repel though, but you might not. Sometimes you can do it to the top left or top right of the wall if they if they didn't place the jammer perfect in the center. Um, so we'll, we'll, we might get to that point. Who knows? Uh, defense, eh? Smoke time. If you guys watched my video a few days ago, I did play smoke and Yana, and that the arguably the two best solo queue ops in the game, in my opinion. I do think smoke is nasty, but hey. As we've learned, maybe it's just because of my play style, you know? Maybe uh, maybe the op picker picks, like, somebody I never play for you, like uh, like Ella. Maybe the op picker is saying, oh, you should play Ella all the time. Who knows? Let me know what you got in the comments. I want to know what you guys got from the from the survey. I wonder how I wonder how much it actually changes, because I, I only did this for myself. I didn't do uh, multiple different answers, so it's interesting. It's, it's super cool. It's only four questions, too, which is kind of wild like that's not that's not very many questions it didn't seem very thorough you know maybe that's why i'm getting fused of all of all people all right so i'm gonna put my barbed wire on yellow for information if they try to come up the stairs if they try to rush or whatever i also like making a little hole here this just lets me watch if they walk in through that door obviously we want to reinforce the other walls these are very important and if you didn't know that these were the outer walls of the map, you need to learn the map a little bit better. And that's going to be a great place to start, especially if you're like a beginner. Just Honestly, if you're a beginner, I like just opening up walls and seeing where things lead to. Oh, what's on the other side of this? Oh, it's this room, which is this door right here. Oh, what do you know? You know, fun fact. I just learned something. Well, figuratively, I didn't actually learn something. I knew that that was that room, guys. Yeah, big brain over here. Now, I could put my barber in this doorway, or I could just barricade it. That way, we at least know if they're coming over here. And then I can put my barber somewhere else for info, which I'll probably do bathroom window hop in. Oh, there's a goo mine on it. No need. And as you can tell, they're coming yellow fast. But I wasn't holding my holes off the start. Might be able to get a quick pick. I'm going to smoke this off because he's nading. Or flashing. He's probably going to try to push off of that. Oh, they got the main wall too? This is bad. They have a lot of pressure here very early. We might have to go for a quick flank. Because they have so much map control and so much pressure. I'm going to try to take my time to flank, but I have to get there sooner rather than later because they could technically just hit the site at any second. Especially with that man advantage. So I'm going to take my time. I'm going to alt walk. Try not to make too much noise. That air jump is crazy. The fact I miss it is even crazier. We're gonna replace the barbed wire. These guys attacked very fast, so I didn't actually have time to set up the rest. Did not warm up, so my aim is not too juicy right now. Oh my god, just kidding, I'm freaking crazy. Uh, I was trying to hold a passive angle on the hop, and Thatcher is on the breach. Thanks, dog. I don't need to peek right now, I can just play this passive. I'm just gonna hold this. You know what? I'm actually going to pop this off the beeper since that beeper is there. Oh, it's EMP. I heard him close. Pop the smoke. A little sketchy because I forgot that Thatcher EMP'd the beeper so it wasn't going to go off again. But then I heard him, so I popped the smoke. Um, but I caught on to that just in time because otherwise I probably wouldn't have popped the smoke. 
thinking, oh, he hasn't hit the beeper. I think I'm fine still. So good for, good idea to pop the smoke there. Uh, plus, I had another one lots of time. Like, there's no reason really not to. Um, solid round, I would say. Solid round. The flank, was, the flank was big. I didn't kill the Nomad, but I would have if my teammate didn't. So I think doing that quickly, you can see how fast they're pushing and how aggressive. It's like, oh, we got to make a plague now because they have they have all the control they need to just collapse on the bomb site. We need to hit the flank. We need to do something or they're just going to kill everyone and win the round. So couple couple good choices there, but they were quick choices. So knowing what to do ahead of time, I already know I already know this ahead of time, right? This is knowledge I already have, so I can I can just make the play instead of having to sit and think about what is the best choice. And sometimes there is no answer. Sometimes there isn't a best choice. And in those situations, you just gotta make a choice. Making any choice at all is better than making no choice. Unless your choice is to do nothing and hold what you have. Hold your control, you know. So yeah, barbed wire on the stairs for the same exact reason. We don't want them just sneaking up there. It's just information. And that's how I knew they were coming so fast off the start. Was the information I got off that barbed wire, right? Boosting? Boosting? Who's boosting? This is, a f this is for the champion game, guys. This is for the champion game. Reinforcing this stops them from, like, just being able to spray through and get a lot of control. Oh, I think I'll put some barbed wire no, 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 on the push-up no, no. from Shark. Uh, this isn't great, but it'll work because I can kind of walk around it here. Now, they're at this door. I'm going to hold this with a shotgun pretty aggressive. I'm going to swing if I hear them. Actually, let's do this. The fact he stayed on his drone means there's probably two. There's probably a guy covering him as he's droning. Now, it sounds like they're actually through the far side already, so i got to be careful of that. I'm going to back up. I'm not feeling too safe. There's multiple ways they can push me from, and I don't have a lot of info. Now, it does sound like they're coming shark stairs. He is. And there's another one in. One's down shark stairs and one picnic. Didn't hear the guy come in picnic. I didn't hear him push in there, which is too bad. Uh, I tried to smoke that ash. I probably could have smoked him from my holds, which would have been safer. But we got the pick, at least. So we confirmed that kill, which is big. Now I can just hop on camps for my team. I can call stuff for my team. Uh, that Bravo's Bravo is one. still. She's going to come top shark, Bravo. I do have the garage cam. Now, sometimes having information on what is clear is a big help to the team. I can call your garage, by the way. I have the garage cam. That way they don't have to watch it, right? So knowing where they aren't is going to help us guess where they are, right? So it's just, it's just that's a simple concept that not a lot of people... It may not be the most obvious one. Like, a lot of people don't think about that. But it makes a lot of sense, right? If I know that they're not garage and they're not breach and they're not you said you had garage, inside... Right? Yeah, one's going to push up here, though, uh, on site door. I got your garage cam. I can't call your bottom, though, Doc. Like, I can only right. call I'll hear him. the ladder kind of thing. One's in bull. He's pushing up on your mirror. Last one's on ping, too. He's going back to the site door, the A door. Sorry, I, I didn't finish what I was trying to say, but uh, I'll, I'll finish it now. This guy, I'll just keep pinging this guy. So basically what I'm saying, if they're not anywhere on the backside, you know they all have to be coming from these two directions, right? They all have to be coming from top shark or from game. So that's only two ways they can come from. So if you know they're not garage and they're not big breach, they have to, your whole team can invest in holding those other two areas. That's why misinformation is also really, really important. Bull. Pushing your door, dog. Nice, good shit. Hype up the teammate, gas them up, let them know they did well. Keep the morale high. I think that's one of the biggest things to hold you. It's such a mental battle, dude. If you are shit-talking your teammates, calling them ass, and pissing them off, they're going to be more focused on how mad they are and how annoying you are rather than focusing on actually playing the freaking game, dude. So don't be mad at your teammates. Just have fun. Try your best. Be nice. Hype them up. Let Make them have fun. And then it's GG easy. In the books, baby. Write it down. A plus, stamp that shit, call your teacher up, pass her an apple, get a good mark, get a good grade, impress your parents. We're on green bedroom. I normally wouldn't pick smoke here because it's a very long range site. There's a, just a lot of long range angles. So because I'm smoke and because I probably don't want to take fights at this like massive range, right? Where they're locking it down with ACOG and shit. I'll probably just play off site. You can roam with smoke. There's absolutely no problem with that. Now, the one thing I will do Actually, we have a lot of roamers already, so I might actually hold site, even though it's not ideal. Either that or we can just kind of support our roamers by playing, not maybe not a roam, essentially, but like, uh, what's the what's the between a roam and the site hold, the anchor? I can't remember the word. 
There's a word for it. <laughs> R6 champion doesn't know terminology of R6. 10,000 hours for what, bozo? Uh, yeah, like a, just a small mid roam. Not that's not what it's called, but you know what I mean. Where you kind of play close to the site, where you can get back to the site. I could even play here, contest this entrance. This might be huge, actually. Um, and then I can even put some barbed wire for like upper yellow to hear if they're coming from here. And that way, I mean, this is just gonna contest their entry off the start. Like they're not gonna want to push into this. This is a shotgun, point blank range. See, you see what I'm saying? You gotta drone that. You don't drone that, you get shotgun in the chest. That's why There's this is a very effective strategy of smoke, because if they don't drones. join you, you're getting a free kill. And they drone me, so I'm gonna just back up. I'm waiting for them to hit the barbed wire and I'm gonna smoke it probably. I actually don't really need to back up. Smoke it, if he pushes in, he's getting killed. Okay, now I can back up. I got a couple drones, got a pick. I'm gonna waste some more time. They're gonna be sitting there waiting for me to swing again, most likely. Oh, there's a guy bathroom window. I wanna just get into a position to shotgun him as well. There we go, now we can't hop in because He's hopping into a shotgun so getting into a more optimal position is nice because now this window is actually being held before it wasn't so actually being window. held it was it was being passively held now it's actively being held he cannot get in i got the site window my team doesn't have to worry about it. they have a 4v2 on the other side of the map right it's a 5v3 now but if you take me away and take the window guy away now it's a yeah, now it's a fucking 4v1 now i'm gonna swing him because i have huge freaking nuts oh i didn't see the claymore he's outside yellow door might come back to bathroom though I actually hopped out looking for the Claymore, but uh, my glasses went into night mode, and so it got dark all of a sudden, so I didn't see it. It's not because I'm blind. It's actually not my fault at all. Okay, it was my fault. I jumped into the Claymore. Completely unnecessary. I'm just doing that for fun, okay? I'm just trying to have fun, and that's okay. You can have fun and be stupid like that. Like, that was a stupid play, right? We have a 5v1. He has to push in the building. I can stay safe and, like, make sure my team actually wins. Because the rest of my team could definitely throw that. It's happened before. It probably happens a lot more in your games, but it happens. Um, so, if I want to win, I'm going to sit and play that state, play it smart. But, but, I'm okay losing. I'm okay taking the L. If, I, if we take the L because I jumped out the window and hit the Claymore, I have to accept the fact that it was my fault because I also jumped out and hit the Claymore and relied on my teammates to win. So, that being said... If we lost our round, it was 2-1. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. It's fine. It's fine. Let's win the next round, you know? We'll keep the morale high. But if that's going to be something that completely collapses your mental, where it's like, oh, my God, my team threw. They're so dumb. Oh, my God, stupid fucking team. And you start freaking out. Well, then you have to take some responsibility for your actions because uh, you so made a stupid play, essentially, is what, what I'm trying to say. Uh, now, they might not have Walnut. If they don't have Walnut... Oh, it doesn't look like they do. This wall is going to be free. I'm actually going to bring Harvey's charges. Ah, uh, Buck has them. And we have a Thermite. I'm not going to bring Harvey's charges. I'm going to hope they get the wall. If they don't, I'll go somewhere else. Um, but realistically, like, they should get the wall. Now, if you have teammates who are consistently not doing stuff that they probably should, like Thermiting the wall as Thermite, then maybe you should just bring Harvey's charges. Five seconds you know? To go. But it uh, looks like we're fine. I might fuse it first just to get rid of whatever utilities over there. Wamidas, etc. Um... And then I might rotate around a few some other stuff. We'll try to see what we can do. Get for this spawn peek on that door. There's a Solus down there. Ash is just rushing. Buck is just rushing. Hey, let me fuse this wall first. I can get rid of my distance though. All right, teammate, listen. Huge. You can thermite it now. Doesn't look like I got any Wilmidas. I got a camera. That's nice. Last one's Valk. Close breach. Close breach. Close on my window. Oh, that was a crazy C4. Luckily, he missed the pillar because I was dead if I was dead if he didn't miss there. I got your bathroom. I got your bathroom. Hopefully, I can fry this guy bathroom if they swing thermite. They might try to swing in on this thermite and then I'll fry them. Wow, this might have been the easiest wow. champion of my life. Last one, unknown. I still have fuses too. I feel like I didn't do a fuse very much justice because I really did nothing. Site's clear if you want to plant therm. Uh, an A site. I don't know what it would be. Oh, no. Sorry, bro. I'm what sorry. The freak. I was trying to hold this door. I didn't expect him to back up again. He walked through and then he backed right back up. Yeah, I was my bad, 7 man. and 0. <laughs> my <Wow>. bad, dude. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to keep going forward. That's that's on me, dude. I'm sorry. You were doing too good. You were doing too good. <laughs> Absolutely murked my teammate. <laughs> what a finish. What a finish. I'll be that's playing more Fuse 
on my second channel. I'll have another one of these videos over there if you guys want to watch it. The link is in the description. Uh, <laughs> hopefully I don't team kill over there. But we got some solid smoke gameplay at least. We'll get some fuse over there. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're champion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're also champion gamers. So it turns out maybe the Ubisoft thing was right. Maybe it is right. That's the way to do it right there, boys. You run the ops, they tell you. 883, not bad. Hell, yeah. All right. R6 champion. See you on the next one. Peace out, boys.